By now we all know that Malayalam cinema is just dominating 2024. Back to back they are putting out bangers and it's just April. And if you don't know that that means you're not watching my videos. Now in the Ramzan and Vishu weekend three Malayalam films released and looking at the word of mouth we'll be seeing the continuation of this dream run. But the biggest cinema chain in the country PVR Inox has refused not just to play these three new Malayalam films but have stopped screening the Malayalam which are already running in the theaters why what happened let's talk about it hello guys i'm nona prince and i was quite excited and looking forward to watching the three films which are avesham jay ganesh and varshangala kashesham and with the raving reviews came the sad news already i faced a lot of release issues of malayalam films near me just a day ago i got to see the court life check out my review over that the biggest national cinema chain in the country has refused to play these films and that is a very very big concern so instead of getting into the blame game and point fingers who's responsible for this mess let's try to understand what is really happening now i'll try to explain all of this in a very simplified manner but if you want to get more details definitely read up on it before getting into the main issue we first need to understand how the film exhibition works today in the digital era gone are those days where the producers used to send film reels to the theaters to play that film today every thing happens digitally you shoot the movie with a digital camera you edit the film digitally and that film is projected digitally on the screen which we see in the theater but to execute all of this you need a technology and a system now to send your film digitally to all these theaters you cannot just put it in a pen drive and send it to them that would lead to piracy so you need to have technology there to share the films to the theaters seamlessly without any piracy issues so to do this there are content sharing companies or service providers who share the film with with their technology to the theaters in a way that they are protected they are encrypted they are in their highest quality and are easily accessible by the theater owners it can be through a satellite it can be through a server it can be through hard disk also but all of it is encrypted and these films are only accessible through a key and that key works only for the limited time now for doing all this these service providers charge a fee from the producer for every screening of the film now that we have understood that let's get to the issue now going to the kerala film producer association these existing companies or the service providers like cube ufo sony etc charge a really really high fees for this service and it really impacts the producers revenue so to solve this problem producers association launched their own content sharing service which is called pdc producers digital cinema which will charge a very significantly reasonable fees for the same service which will in turn help the producers and this exists for over 2 years now they have been approaching several theaters to use their technology now big multiplexes like pvr inox already have contracts with the existing service providers and because they are binded by that contract they cannot work with new service providers now still we haven't come to the main point which has caused all of this now recently pvr opened new screens in kochi in which the producers association wanted them to use pdc their technology to show malayalam films now according to pvr inox producers association cannot you know compel them to only show Malayalam films from them and only through PDC. They call it anti-competitive and illegal. But on the other hand, the producers association says that we only want PDC to be used in the new screens, and if not all, you can share them between us and the other companies or other service providers. So this is where both parties got stuck, and there hasn't been any resolution at the time of recording this video. Now PVR Inox stopped playing any Malayalam films, not just in Kerala, not just in the new screens, but everywhere across. across the country and not just that they also stopped showing the dubbed malayalam movies just recently manjumal boys was released in telugu dub pvr inox even stopped those screenings and this has pissed a lot of people now this is clearly a show of power by pvr inox it's their way of twisting the arm of the producers they can do this because they have the monopoly they are the biggest and the largest film chain in the country at least before their mergers pvr and inox used to compete against each other but now that they've come together they just hold too much power. Power. A lot of people in the industry are calling this a big mistake on the part of PVR Inox because of this move a lot of producers are losing money on their films and I feel if this issue is not resolved at the earliest it will lead to something big maybe the south fraternity all unite against PVR Inox and put them out of business in the southern states where film watching is a big business there are news that the producers will take them to court and it will be resolved like that but let's see what happens but in all of this it's the audience who are suffering we'll have to keep waiting for the 
the films to come. If not that, wait for the OTT release and you'll miss out on the theatrical experience. And most of these new films, people are saying that they're meant to be watched in a theater. It's sad that we are in 2024 and I cannot watch a film made by another state in my state when we're living in the same country. There is a need for an overhaul of the theatrical business because I'm missing out on some great cinema. And in this video, I gave five reasons why I feel Malayalam cinema is great. But what do you think? Do let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Did I make any sense? Let me know that too and I will see you next time.